heard your radio show. And we love your soul. It is possible to pray the gay. Yeah. What if I want to pray the gay to stay? Uh, uh. Recently, Human Rights Campaign released data looking at what are the best and worst places to live in America if you are a member of the LGBT community. And to put it mildly and sadly, the hospitality state of Mississippi turns out not to be so hospitable to a number of our fellow citizens. I'm asking y'all to leave. Is this because I'm gay? Yes, it most certainly is. Which is one of the many extremely timely and poignant plot lines of Amazon's September 8th launching six episode second season of the Tig Notaro starring One Mississippi. A season that with wit, candor, and an unbendable steel spine steps into the swamp of the increasingly prevalent and openly displayed, as the ugliness of Charlottesville and other places showed us this summer, prejudice and politics that have crawled out into the light in the last year with their own brand of darkness. Or the muck of ages, as that old quote stand by Karl Marx once described such backward ideas and bigotry. Let's face it, Mississippi is just not the right demographic for you. What happened to fearlessness? And with the talk of escaping to New Zealand with co-star and Nataro's real-life wife, Stephanie Allen, who plays Kate, the producer of Tig's Gulf Coast set radio show in One Mississippi, to get away from Donald Trump, the season addresses hot-button topics like racism, sexism, classism, the Civil War, religion, small town versus big city, child abuse, and workplace sexual harassment, plus babies, new relationships, and the search for love. Yes, the Nataro and Diablo Cody created and Kate Robbins showrun series hits close to home, whether you live in the South or not, or work in the media or frozen food industries or not. But its distinct point of view never falters into becoming definitely didactic, unlike, say, many other small screen projects now trying to come to terms with the fallout of the seemingly endlessly divisive ex-celebrity apprentice host becoming the 45th president of the United States. It's so cute. Our kids believe in dinosaurs, isn't it? What do you mean by believe? You know how they think they're real and everything. I've seen the documentary called Jurassic Park, and it's kind of hard to argue with that. Not about coming out, but about being who you are. The emotional core of the new season of One Mississippi is perhaps best exemplified in many ways by Tig and Kate's evolving relationship, professionally and personally. But also by Notoro's fictional brother Remy and stepfather Bill, played by the excellent Noah Harpster and John Rothman, respectively, and their own respective romances with the equally excellent newcomers Carly Gibson and Tony Award nominee Cheryl Lee Ralph. Now, when the series launched its sixth episode first season in September 2016, I called the semi-fictional show about a seminal fictional version of the LA-based confessional comedian facing up to her mother's death, the consequences of having cancer, family relationships, and going back home. Well, Promedy, One Mississippi, is a sometimes brutally poetic reconnaissance on death and family that crosses genres and will break your heart. With binge written all over it in capital letters and exclamation points, like a Trump tweet, but you know, different. This second season of One Mississippi is heartbreaking in a very different way, as the divisions in the country fester and boil. It is also not as low key as many have gotten used to seeing Tignataro being, but it is much, much better.